got there? Uh, I've got a jersey autographed by Lou Gehry. Oh, wow. Yeah. How big was Lou Gehry? That you know? jersey looks like it could fit the big boss's <laughs> leg. <laughs> I came into the pawn shop today to try and sell my uh, Lou Gehrig signed jersey. Well, Lou Gehrig's one of the most famous baseball players back in his day. If it's stitched, it's ripped in a few places and stuff, but yeah, it's, but it's signed by Lou Gehrig. How'd you come across this, man? Some guys back in Arkansas, some old farmers were in their 70s, so they decided to sell off their sports memorabilia. This was probably a high school jersey, uh, maybe college. It probably had a patch at one time here where it's uh, uh, torn off. It's been sewn several times. That's the way they did back in the day. They just kept using the same jersey over and over, so it's been used quite a bit. I don't know, and, and if I could prove that he ever put it on, believe me, I'd probably get 100 grand out of it without even blinking an eye. Anything from the Yankees is highly collectible. And a signed jersey by one of the biggest baseball stars in history, I mean, this thing could go through the roof. He won several World Series. The most famous probably with Murderer's Row uh, group would be 1927. On a team with Babe Ruth. Right, absolutely. <laughs> he was kind of overshadowed by Babe Ruth. Yeah. And Babe Ruth signed a lot more stuff than he did. So he's, he's, he's really very collectible because uh, he signed very few items. And this is like the only jersey I've ever seen that he signed. You got any paperwork or anything with it? Yeah, I've got uh, actually uh, three uh, certificates of authenticity with it. Real? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, give me an idea how much money you're looking to get out of it. Well, I'd like to get uh, 10 out of it if I could. Well, I'd like for my man Chumley here to grow a brain, but I don't think <laughs> that's going to happen with either of us. So. Before I drop a bunch of money on a jersey, we're generally kind of leery of sports collectibles. Let me call my dad up, see if he wants to come down and take a look at it, and um, we'll kind of go from there. Sure. All right, um, let me give him a call. The sports world's full of fake merchandise, so I got to call on someone who's literally seen it all. And that person is my dad. What you think? Um, was this framed up like this when you got it? No, it was not. So you framed it up? Yes. Is there anything on the other side of the jersey? Yeah, it says uh, Marsh Hill. Is it a team? High school. Team jersey or something? Yeah, it's the only jersey I've ever seen signed. From where it's signed, I imagine some kid said, could you sign my jersey? And then did that number. Um, and you got any paperwork with it? Yeah, I've had it certified by AAU, which is here locally in Las Vegas. And then I sent it out to an auction in Pennsylvania. And then I had it certified again by Stats, which is another sports authenticator. Everything looks legit to me. It looks real. Can you look up online what Lou Gehrig's signature is going for? I got an idea. Hey, because it's not on a Yankees jersey. I know. All right, don't spend too much of my money. <laughs> when it comes to sports memorabilia, it's all about having the correct paperwork. And not only does this guy have one certificate of authenticity, he's got three from three very reputable companies. I know this jersey's legit, and I know it's gonna be worth a lot of money. So give me a realistic idea of what you're looking to get out of it. I guess I'd take seven. Take seven? I'd offer you about two. I don't know. Just seeing as how I gotta sell this thing for a profit. Right. Yeah, two's way too low. I can't do two. Yeah. Um, it's a hell of a piece and I'd love to have it in here. Um, but you're just gonna have to work with me a little bit more. I mean, um, really I'd do it heartbreakingly for five. You know, and I'm really scared to do it, but I'll go up to three, but honest to God, that's really the best I'm gonna do on it. Well, I'll tell you, I really, really, really don't wanna do it at three, but with the economy the way it is, and needing the money, I'll let it go at three. All right, deal. Let's go do some paperwork. All right. You know, I wanted more for it, but yeah, now that I've taken the three grand, I have it in my pocket, I'm a happy guy.